In this video, we are going to walk through how to copy and paste shifts from one week to future weeks. In order to copy and paste a shift, you'll need to go to the calendar page. So on the calendar page, you can go to the left side menu here, hover over calendar, and you can choose any view that you would like. We're going to start off in the by employee week view, which gives you different lists of uh, a list of your employees here with exactly which schedule they're working for the given week that's pulled up. What I want to do is take this week that starts on June 6th and copy it into the future. I want it to be exactly the same. I want it to be able, uh, whatever I have here, this week is perfect. That's on my calendar. I have multiple positions loaded here, fitness attendant and front desk. And I want to make sure that both of those positions are accurately reflected into future weeks, exactly the same as what they're listed here. Keep in mind that if you are collecting hourly availability, um, you are not going to take availability into account when you copy and paste. It's going to take exactly what we have listed here and put it into the future. So in order to copy and paste, you're going to go and click on the copy and paste shifts button, which is right above the employee list. And you'll see two calendars at the start. On the left calendar, we're going to choose the first day of the week that we want to copy. So we're going to want to copy starting on June 6th. Then on the right calendar, you're going to choose the day of the week or the next week that you want to copy to. So if you want to go to the very next week, we would just choose the 13th. But if we want to skip a week, if we want to take this week and actually copy it for a week in July, we can absolutely do that. It'll skip all these other weeks and it'll just copy this week of the 6th to this week in July. For this example, we're going to go ahead and just copy to the very next week. And then you can copy for multiple weeks. The first drop down down below here is going to say, how long do you want to copy for? So if I wanted to copy for up to 15 weeks at a time, I can do that. Uh, for my purposes, I'm just going to copy through the seven, through the summer and go through uh, the beginning of August. There will be some questions you'll have to answer about what exactly do you want to copy over. For instance, if you have available shifts, shifts that are not currently assigned to anybody that are available for others to pick up, do you want to copy those? If you do, you hit yes. If no, it's only going to copy shifts that are assigned to somebody. For breaks, if you have currently have breaks assigned to your shifts, do you want to copy those as well? If not, then if you say no, then it will not bring the breaks over into the future weeks. Uh, if you say yes, then it will copy those breaks as well. Do you want to copy as published or unpublished? So do you want to copy as, uh, as soon as I copy, these shifts are now published, they are out to the staff and they can see them? Or would you rather copy them as unpublished or, so that you can take a look and make any changes before actually hitting the publish button. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to published here. I'm gonna leave this as yes, copying available shifts and yes, copying breaks. And then we'll need to choose which positions that we wanna copy for. Uh, we can choose any positions that we have loaded in our calendar here. So if you see some, uh, don't see some options that you do wanna copy for, uh, it's probably because uh, they are not loaded on the calendar. So go ahead and just X out of this, load those positions on the calendar, and you'll be able to choose these. So you can do just one position, or you can choose all positions, and you can copy for everything that we have listed here on our calendar. The default on the next line is to copy for all employees. It's going to take your entire week, but if you wanted to only copy for maybe one or two different employees, you absolutely can do that. Uh, you can also copy available shifts only if you wanted to. But for the uh, sake of this example, we're going to copy for all employees. You can also copy for just days of the week. So for instance, if you didn't want to copy the entire week, you just wanted to copy, uh, you didn't want to copy weekend shifts maybe, right? You can uncheck Saturday and Sunday. It's only going to copy the Monday through Friday shifts. After all this is filled out, we'll go ahead and hit, and hit review. And it's going to just tell you this is exactly what uh, you've selected on the prior page. Uh, this is the source dates. These are the dates that they're going to. It's for this many weeks. Um, it's just going to give you a quick run through here. And now we're going to go ahead and hit copy shifts. After the system is done copying, it's going to identify any shifts that it could not fill because there was either a request for time off or that employee was already working another position at that time. Uh, so it, basically when we copy and paste, we can't create conflicts and create and double book people. So we're going to go ahead and go through here. We'll see these are the four shifts that I could not fill. So as the employee, we're going to go ahead and choose and click on the list here. And we're going to be able to choose another employee to work this if we want. So if I want to choose a different employee, we could do that. Or I could hit auto assign staff. And if I hit auto assign staff here, it'll just automatically fill in others who could work at this time. 
And as we go through, we are going to be able to see that we have copy and pasted these shifts. Uh, and they are now here on the calendar and staff are going to be able to view them since I did copy them as published. That is how to copy and paste shifts. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to our support team. You can give us a call at 617-401-8733 or email us at support at subitup.com. Our office hours are Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Thanks so much. Music